Hey guys, we've got a, a little bit of this market shaking around here. If we see Aussie dollar kind of run up into this 44, 45 area, I would just wait and see if we can, uh, if there's enough momentum behind it to uh, push it through up into the 60s. Then maybe Aussie dollar, one could sell it there. I mean, see the Aussie has been a, a lot better behaved overall than uh, both the euro and the uh, pound point as it's kind of stayed within this little range here of uh, this topish area of where we are, topish 30s. It, it was the, uh, the high, you know, they were uh, kind of the highs earlier. And then we kind of did a little bit of a false breakout and then we came back and uh, we've managed to stay pretty range bound in here for a while. We were hoping to see that black PMD tested, which would have been down at around the uh, 01 level. Didn't quite make it kind of stuck this, this tight little range between, let's say, uh, uh, mid-30s where we are now, down to the 10-12 uh, level, whereas uh, Euro dollar has definitely been somewhat on a trend after really doing really well early during the London session. It's kind of started to give back some of that, and you can see we're kind of slowly working our way down, and we were hoping to see it test this uh, 20 or so, mid to low teens, didn't quite make it, bounced from, uh, from this previous low in the mid-20s. And uh, pound dollar, this this definitely, this kind of move here is one that can really uh, drive traders crazy. Josh took this this trade here, actually, he, again, he timed this one beautifully. And our matrix, I mean, it, it told us we had a refuel trade there. Uh, he got in it at 64. You know, a few minutes later, you know, he was out with almost 20 points on that. I kind of saw a little bit of a... Of a of a different setup. Uh, well, it was actually similar to what we have here right now with the euro dollar. The way this was set up, the only thing it was to the downside. So we had a one minute pointing down, five minutes were pointing down. We had gaps in our five minutes. And uh, the moment I saw the, the pound dollar give us a refuel trade uh, signal, I went ahead and got in on the euro, sold it at uh, just about 58 and uh, cashed out down here at the 28 picked up almost 30 on that. I mean, that, that was actually right in here is where I went short on the euro dollar, cashed out down here. And again, this is a very, very much an advanced trade. The one that you guys probably would have seen, the majority of you guys would have seen the refuel on pound dollar uh, just up here where uh, actually Josh went short on his at 64, collected nice on that. I, again, we've been waiting for the black PMDs on euro and pound to be tested. They quite haven't on the downside nor on the upside. Well, Aussie kind of tested this mid 40s a while ago. Uh, but uh, that's been pretty much it. So right now we've got a little bit of a quiet market. Wouldn't mind seeing this euro again down here at the uh, 23 to 16, 12 area, somewhere in here to try to get a, a long position on that, try to scalp points on it. Or Aussie dollar down here at 01, it's a big figure. A lot is going on for the Aussie dollar at this level. Although if it, if it was to get here, keep in mind that would be a breakout out of this uh, range that it's been in for a couple of hours. Actually, a lot more than a couple hours has been in this range for about three, three, four hours now. Uh, so if it does break that, again, um, we could use big figure as, a, as an area, possibly a fake breakout, uh, or at least a, a, an attempt to break out and then come back, retest this uh, area up here at 12, 10 or so, possibly higher, and then, if anything, it might continue afterwards if it's going to be a real breakout. But at this time of the day, in terms of news that's going on, uh, not a lot's happening. I'm looking at the... Uh, Dow and everything else, I, I, I don't see really a uh, continuation of, of uh, any kind of breakout at this time. Again, if we get a test of these ranges, you see off of our uh, PMDs here, our black PMDs and uh, a lot of uh, Fibonacci walls and so forth, that would kind of give us a nice, uh, a nice possible trade there. So 